Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Battletech Iron Man career mode where we've just finished a flashpoint, the Hearts and Minds flashpoints and um, it's time to change up a little bit, change up the mechs a little bit because I'm not happy with how they're working they're not really doing their jobs properly, it's taking a little bit too long to get kills and stuff like that so we're going to take a look at um, refitting uh, some of the mechs and then uh, we're going to take a look at what contracts are around once we've refit them and waited for them to be refit and stuff like that. First off, I'm just going to say I upgraded my ship, put the improved automation on. Um, I did do it on camera, but I did not sorry, not on camera. On, I did record it, but I didn't actually press the record button, so, whoops, that was my bad. Um, I was want to go to engineering. See, I'm getting all over the place already. Yes, yeah, so, this one here, I think it was. No, this one. Automation. Uh, it's plus two tech points? Plus, no, there's that one. Improved automation, plus three tech points. There we go. So, it means our our mechs will be repaired quicker when they take damage not if they take damage but when because they are going to take damage and then we're going to look at doing these upgrades slowly maybe not the habitat pods because i don't need more pilots although we obviously have we are full we've got one we got one space left so we're actually looking pretty good archangel is very good you. at guts he's got plus two health call and vent but we're now going to change the whole reason we bought him because um, the Griffin is going to lose both its PPCs. So I wrote down what we're going to change because it took me a little while to figure out what it was. I didn't want to do that in mid video. So Grasshopper, let's change this up. Sorry, I've got hair on my tongue for some reason. Interesting, I know, but hey. I've got a beard, so it's probably coming from that. Right, uh, so that's coming off, that's coming off. Uh, the large laser, I think. Are we keeping that on? I think we are keeping that on. So we're putting the large laser plus there, large laser plus there, and then we're putting the SRM2 with plus 50 critical there with some ammo down here and then we are putting the arm mod on. Why are we putting that on? We'll put it on this side so we're not stacking all the good stuff on one side. Because it's now doing 100 melee damage. And that is my hardest hitter in combat. I'm not going to lie, that is amazing. And then just to add a bit more Awesomeness, we're gonna put some jump jets back on this thing. We are over tonnage, which is fine. I think we are losing a heat sink. Yeah, I think we can lose a heat sink without it being an issue. In fact, we're gonna lose it from the leg. So the armor is still practically, well, it is exactly as we had it. So that's no issue. I'm thinking we drop down a little bit here to increase the arms. No, one too many. And I'm thinking as long as we don't get hit in the back, we're going to be good. There we go, because we need the arms. They're the important bit here. And I think we're about ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the ammo on the leg because, yes, it might me fall down, admittedly. But if it blows up. But I'd rather have it there than here because if I lose the side torso, I lose the arm. I don't want it on the arm because I don't want it blowing up the arm. Um, so, yeah, that's where it's going. That's fine. So that's that one done. Seven days, 8,000 sea bills. Perfect. Done. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. Rifleman is staying the same. This Griffin. 
is staying the same. What have you got it? That's a plus 50 critical as well. Uh, this griffin is... Which one? The 1S. We are changing this one. I like it. I like the missiles, the LRMs, but not right now. So they're coming off. Um, the LRM ammo, I think it's staying on. No, missiles, missiles, missiles. We're putting... We are leaving some missiles on here. LRM 15, though, because we are putting... Uh, three heat sinks on here. One, two, three. And we'll, put them, we'll spread them out. So we don't lose them all. And then we are putting laser is back on here. So all medium lasers. Yeah, we are over tonnage at the moment, but we'll fix that soon. Um, we're minusing the LRMs and one jump jet. I think that's right. Then we're just going to do that. See what we've got. I like even numbers or even amounts. So let's just take all this down a little bit. There's nothing on this arm, so I don't need to worry about this arm so much. It's basically a shield arm. That is fine. What we do need is 140, 150 centaur or so. This arm we do need a lot of armor on. 70, maybe a little bit much. In fact, we'll drop to 140, sorry, 245 to give us 110 on the front. And okay, the legs are looking very, very skinny. So maybe 40 on that arm. Because there's nothing there. There's, there's no reason to keep, yes, it's keeping this part attached. I think we can live with that. And how much ammo have we got? 120. 100, so that's 240. We'll get less than 10 rounds of shooting. Hmm. If only they did half ammo. I'd be happy with that. But I think we're going to need two tons. And we'll leave two tons for the moment. And yeah, that's done. That's I'm happy. I'm kind of happy with that. So heat efficiency is gone down, but that's because we've got all these lasers on. But the thing is, if I take that off, then our heat efficiency goes up quite considerably. So how much heat is that generating? It is generating 14 heat. So you take 14 away from the Alpha Strike, and you've got a decent amount then. In fact, I can just do that, can't I? Yeah, 48, which is about right, so that's fine, and yeah, we're going to confirm that, 6,006 days, pretty good, on. and then we I'll are looking you know at, that's not this guy, because this guy's got the knock on, I'm going to leave you as you are for the moment, but we're probably not going to be using you, this is the guy we're going to really fit next, so we are put in, we are... Oh yeah, we're taking those off, and we're putting medium lasers. We'll end up doing... We're going to be a close range mech on this one again. A fairly close range, and we're going to put an SRM-6 in there, with some ammo in there. And what are we missing? It is just jump jets next. Jump jets are very handy for repositioning and getting away from enemy and basically that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Let's get this right, people. Two, three, four. We're actually two tons under. I don't really want to max out my armor completely, so I'm thinking heat sinks are actually needed. So one, two, what does that do for us? Uh, heat sink of 51, alpha strike of, four, of 72. If I take that off, we go up a lot. So I probably won't be using the missiles too much. Um, 
So we could put this could be um, Archangel's mech. Yeah, I think that could work for him. Or we could strip a little bit of armor. Yeah, let's strip a little bit of armor. Not there, not on the. No. Okay, go down to 100 there. On the heads. 45. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a little bit more off the legs. It's probably really stupid. And I think. No, send it to also. We're going to leave. We're going to go. Okay, there we go, and one more heat sink. Yeah, that's given us a decent amount of heat, heat sinking, I'd say. Uh, um, it's probably the weakest mech now in armor that I'm going to be fielding, but overall I think it's going to be... It's going to pack a punch, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to confirm you. I hope I'm happy with that one. I hope that works out for the best, and then... The Vulcan is also getting refit. Lasers, small lasers are good, they do damage, but we don't want damage. What you want is to be more awesome in close combat. So, we're going to give you machine guns. Why? Because they do critical hit chances per uh, shot. So there's three shots per machine gun, so that's three, six, nine, twelve chances of critical hits. Plus we're doing a, um, not 100 damage, we're doing 60 melee damage. So we are looking pretty damn good for getting a critical hit. So we need some machine gun ammo, I think. Just one bin, 200 rounds. 200 rounds, I'm doing 3, 6, 9, 12 per turn. I think we'll be alright, and yeah, we don't need heat sinks because we are amazing. Yeah, we're hit. Okay, we don't, act yeah, we don't need heat sinks at all, do we? We can take those off. And we are actually. Yeah, we're. We're maxed. Okay, we're just. Not that, not that leg. We're going to go back on that leg because it's got less on it. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got one more ton. Do I put double ammo on there? No, I don't think we need double ammo. Um, okay, so we can't put another medium laser on there. We can't put... Yeah, we we are. Hmm. Okay, equipments. These don't weigh anything, do they? No. Tonnage zero. Leg mods is zero. Okay, let's check the store quickly. I think the equipment here. I would love a comm system. Hmm, I'm thinking I buy that one and stick it on this guy. Plus one resolve gain. Yes doesn't weigh anything New equipment and the available. exchanger would be really happen minus 10 weapon heat for that's two tons but that would be really amazing for the vindicator okay so the comm system is going in there it doesn't weigh anything like i said which is annoying but it's plus one resolve it's probably on our squishiest mech though so maybe that's a bad idea but I would put it on the grasshopper, but the grasshopper has something up there anyway. Anyway, tonnage, tonnage, tonnage. What are we going to put here? We've maxed out on jump jets. I think we do put... I mean, it's a bit risky putting an extra bin of ammo on there, but I think we kind of have to. Because there's nothing else to put on there. We could put a... Um, No, we can't put anything on there. We can't even put an AC weapon on there because the lightest AC weapon is six tons. So, 
I mean, I'd love to put an AC-20 on here, but at 14 tons, that's pretty much the like taking everything off and all the armor off, if I remember correctly. I did try it just for a laugh. Okay, well that one's done. Four days. It's all good. Right. So we've got to wait 19 days. No, we've got to wait 23 days for all of those to come back. So currently we would barely be scraping by the next financial report. So what I'm going to do is go to the store and go to selling. And we've got three fire starters, I believe. Where are they? There you go. Nine R's. Fire starter, nine R's. I am going to sell two of those because that gets me by the next financial report. So we've got 1.1 million. Um, the others I'm going to keep simply because I like to have one of each. You never know when you're going to need them. I'll probably end up selling them towards the end when I really need money. But there is a ton of mechs there. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's three and a half. That's the fire starter. Yeah, that is a pretty good mech, actually. But, no, we're going to leave it in there. And, right, so we're also going to sell a bit of equipment because we've got 47 jump jets. Let's sell 20 of those. And I'm going to sell a little bit more of other stuff as well. Okay, so I've sold everything. I've got three months of money worth of C bills or financial report coverage, whatever you want to call it. But basically, I don't want to just sit here and wait for a mission because that seems like a bit of a waste of time, really, because I'll be waiting a month just to earn money, basically. So I'm thinking we go to here. Wait, is this the better one? That's three and a half stars, rare items, no restrictions, shorts, consecutive deployments, yes. Okay. And this one's short, no, to consecutive deployments, rare item, no restrictions. So I'm liking this one, 30 days, sorry, 15 days, that's most of the time um, gone then, and 30 days at travel time. And so, Calculating course now. let's go for that. There was an Atlas um, part at that planet, but I'm going to face Atlases in time anyway, so that is not an issue, I don't think. Okay, so we are here. A house divided. Commander, I need your help. My house is honor is at stake. Please let's meet and discuss the details. Okay, first off, we're going to check this planet out for pilots. Uh, guts is good, but otherwise, no. There's no one really there. Okay, let's check the store. Assassin Banshee, 95 tonner. Commando, Enforcer, these are all parts anyway, so you know, there's not even a full one here. We don't have any parts for any of these. Uh, we have Commando parts. Blue, okay, we could finish that one off, but it's only a Locust. Um, yeah, no. Ooh, okay, what mods have they got? Equipment, uh, Gyro is handy. Minus 10 stability damage, heat sinks, jump jets, leg mods. Okay, same as what we got, and that is plus 10 melee stability damage. That's pretty handy, 33,000. I'm thinking of buying that accidentally on purpose. It slips available. into my um, pockets. Okay, it's just ammo here, so nothing here. There's an MG, that's unlimited. Okay, everything here is unlimited. So there's unlimited MGs, machine guns, but that's it. Okay, so contracts. Let's see what other contracts there are before we jump into the flashpoints. I think this is of like four star world, so we could be rather brutal. Uh, yeah, so we've got a lot of the contracts aren't in our. We're not allowed to do just yet. So flushing them out. They're both three star. That's a battle. That's a battle in the Badlands. That's in the Highlands. Yay. I'm 
I'm thinking we do that one and see where that takes us. Yeah, that was me. Hang on, wait. What have we got? What mechs have we got? Sorry, we got the Vindicator and the Vulcan. Okay, so Vindicator. Let's wait for that one to be repaired and then deploy. Okay, so contracts, contracts, contracts. Which one was it? The higher paying one. Although it's only, it's only, it only helps us out because when we lower it down, we still get more pay. Do we want five sandwich? I don't think so. I think that'll do. They'll give us an entire mech if we manage to get an entire mech. And I'm thinking we go for this. Right, this is gonna need a complete rework. Okay, so I think I'm about done. Um, Cecilia needs to work on her gunnery skills because this would help out a lot um, so that she can actually hit targets. I'm giving her the grasshopper. Maybe a bit of a risky move, but in all fairness, we're all about the same. We're all good in one area and rubbish in the well, average on the rest and rubbish in one skill kind of thing. Put one points difference. Yes, I know. Um, but it obviously is the, clo the best melee mech I have. So she's going to do pretty good at hitting in close combat. With 100 damage, the large lasers will help out at range to begin with. And obviously the SRM would be good. But we don't have the Vulcan ready yet. And I'm not going to wait just yet. Maybe a bad decision, might not be, hopefully not, and I yeah, don't want you in the list just yet. And the Griffin, you're a brawly mech, but I don't think you're going to fit, although 70 damage, and do we not have, um, how much do you do? You do 70 damage as well. Maybe going in with that, but then you're going to go somewhere else. Oh, this is so hard. This is really hard. I'm thinking maybe... No, we need to test out... See, you're good, but you're going to be using your LRMs to begin with because you've got higher tactics. And then we're just going to have to hope that we can manage the heat well. You're going to do well because you've got all the... Lasers. Crack shot is just crack shot with her uh, rifleman. Okay. I don't want to drop tonnage though, that's the thing. Your heat is really good, so I'm thinking maybe put you there, drop that vindicator, put the grasshopper there, and is it the 1N? Yeah. I think. I think that works. And also, the grasshopper is slightly under tonnage by like points. 06 tons so we're at 239 tons which is a bit random but hey anyway let's deploy and hope that my piloting skills actually make all that effort worthwhile command interface initiated right so it's a battle mission but we've got to do it quick enough that we don't trigger reinforcements so thankfully we're in water so this is going to help cooling greatly I'm walking here. let's advance quickly Affirmative. and see if we can get the kill quickly so they are there so we're going to go this side I would say we're going to try and stay in the water no we're Enemy not detected. What are we facing? A 50 ton mech? Okay. Let's not push up too far. Three evasion would be good. No, it's yeah, I haven't got the Vulcan, so there's no super speedy mech. Thankfully, so we are I staying can't... as a group. Okay, what have we thought? There's the other mech. So it's a hunchback. 40 ton mech and a 40 ton mech. There will be one more mech out there somewhere. Yes, Commander. You get to go first. No, you don't. I'm going to reserve you and let them push in a little bit. 
Okay, so 15 40 ton mechs. Pretty damn good, actually. I await your command. Okay, I'm going to stay in the water. Okay, you're not going to go. I don't like your Good positioning. Go. You're going to go. Get in line of sight. you got no jump jets. On my That's way. not handy. Um, you've got average chances of hitting, so that's fine. Uh, they're ramshackle. Awesome. So they're fast armor. That should make this battle a lot easier. Pilot head hit, pilot injured. That's what I need to see more of. More head hits, more stuff like that. So what are you doing? You're just gonna fire all your lasers. You got a laser mech punch back. Oh my god, random Reporting spray here heavy over damage. here. Interesting. Heavy damage. That was on the griffin on me. Okay. Uh Can't really get two evasion. We just have to go with one. On my way. And we have to see if we can drop this guy pretty quickly. So, okay, the LRMs have a terrible chance of hitting. So I'm going to turn them off for heat. Actually, we're in water, so we're okay. okay can't do cool shots. That's fine. Let's go for it. Uh, head look. The head, right that. Another head hit would be amazing. Got 15 missiles. Do it. Structure exposed. That is awesome. Assassin. I'm jumping up there. We're not in a cover, so we're taking full damage at the moment. And the cicada. Don't like those. That's fine. We've got our grasshopper going to be jumping into the battle soon. Yeah, let's uh, get the grasshopper in there. Not even any evasion, because I'm so slow on it. Okay, we're definitely jumping then. Um, how much? 40%? 95% chance from there. Can I get it to stay there? Ah, sorry, let's go there then. Okay, we can go there. Good. Engaging jump jets. You're going to be jumping a lot. But thankfully, we're in water, so that's all good. You're going to lose your arm, which is... Okay. It's going to start damaging the torso that is really weak. Fine. All weapons committed. Right arm destroyed. Looking good. Not amazing, but good. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. And crack shots. Standing by. You can't jump either. We need to add jump jets to you. But you got 95% chance of hitting from there. For only 45% chance. Okay. We're definitely going I'm for there. the hunchback then. And you've lost a medium laser. And wow, you're nearly cored already. But 95% chance of hitting with everything. Acknowledge. Right torso destroyed, so that's all the weapons got pretty much. Center torso and right leg, awesome. Mech that is a destroyed. nice quick kill to start. I'm seeing, oh no. Um, I'm seeing an incoming bogey. Okay, well, we've got no reinforcements up here on the top Ready right, for so we're looking good, I'd say. Why have you got no jump jets? Hmm. Okay, Cicada, that would be a nice quick kill, I would say. And I'm thinking going just there. Coordinate received. Should get some good chances of hitting. No, why? Because oh, your evasion is so good. And so is yours. Okay, well... Sensor lock? Might as well. It drops two. Uh, removes two of its evasive charges. You've got 
Uh, sure footed. Yeah, it doesn't really help us. Okay, we need to drop it, so sorry. Got it. a sensor lock. Yeah, they're gonna go again, hopefully oh, it's you going in the back, because that's fairly good. I'm receiving you. Okay, and if I stay still, which is really stupid, only 50% chance of hitting. If I go there, we stay in water. Still 50% chance of hitting. But we remove... Okay, what if I jump? Better. But no better chance of hitting, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to stay in the water. And we're going to go for the cicada. Roger that. Let's go for it. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Primitive. Some hits. Structure exposed. That's awesome. Where are you going to go? You got... My armor is getting stripped off. Yeah, you've lost a lot of your armor already. Where the hell are you running off to, you coward? Okay, so that's interesting. You've got no evasion, actually, because you barely Commander? moved. So... That's actually really handy. If I just sit still... Sod it, let's go for it. I don't gain any um, evasion for moving, so we might as well just open fire. Because you, you've moved for this turn, so sod it. Oh, 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 right torso, right arm, ammo explosions all over the place. Wow. Scored a critical hit. Wow. And... Again, I'm not gaining any evasion unless I jump. Let's go there. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Can I get slightly better? Yes, I can. One of the large lasers loses 5% chance of hitting. But... Engaging jump jet. Hey. Okay, we can probably have one hit point. We're probably going to kill, but it's fine. All it's also destroyed. Oh, if only the, the animations would allow them to fall down the hill. Enemy it doesn't, unfortunately. Destroyed. Okay, now we're getting the bad guys. The real tough guys. Commander. You two need to chase after this guy, I would say. To finish him off before anyone else Moving gets in position. the battle. Well, fire. Might as well. The arm's broken. It's not great chance of hitting because of evasion, but hey, he's on 11 hit points, so we don't need too much. Locking on. It's not great. But you're going up there. Luckily, you're far enough away that he didn't bother going for you. So I'm liking that. Archangel. Order. Yeah, chase after him. Finish him off. We've got 15 missiles to do a few points of damage. Still 11, so no, nothing actually hit that arm. Oh, wow. Okay, precision strike. We might as well go for the heads. Firing full complement on it. No head hits. Okay, we got there. Is he moving? He's not moving. The enemy up here is obviously moving. Yeah, there they are. Oh, is it a 45 ton mech? It is. Okay, we need to finish the cicada off quickly. Another 45 ton mech. Okay, can't get a line of sight on this enforcer. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna go there. Thirty percent chance. It's not gonna be much better here, I would say. No, 
But all we can do is do precision strike. Engaging jump jet. Precision strike, and we gain. We go up a little bit. He's very wounded. So let's do the leg, because then you lose all your mobility. Left leg destroyed. So you're going to fall down. And that's two injuries. So that's going to help out. Do, 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 do. You are going initiative one as well. Waiting for orders. Okay, do we get a good line of sight on him? We get a line of sight up there. You know what? No, we're going to leave the one up on top, the enforcer. Rolling. We are going to try and finish off the cicada because then it's out of the way. And we could go for the kill. So it will go for the torso. Do we? Yeah, let's go for the torso. See if we, oh, we might be able weapons. to get this occasion. Oh, go. It's still there. He's going to stand up now, which is fine. He's got to do something. He can't just sit there. Because if he does, he, he dies. Which he's still got all his weapons. Uh, okay. We'll take that. Anyway, oh wow. Okay, so I'm hoping there's only two that's landed over there and another two landing here. Standing but this by. is getting scarier and scarier. Okay, well, let's go into cover just there and melee him. Hostile drop zone. We are going to be point blank front and center scary times. I want to go that side although we'll probably blow through the arm and then the torso anyway so or do we pull back into the water mm, no let's go for melee Roger. we should get the kill uh. right arm right torso pilot injured not dead though, so. Enemy is flanking. Oh, that's not good. But that's all you've got, so that's fine. Standing by. Okay, Archangel. Uh, you're not in the drop zone, so that's fine. In fact, can you go. Yeah, there. Okay, well, you need to pull back, I would say. I'd like to go for cover, but I can't get it. You have jump jets, so let's use those. Oh wow, one of your legs is pretty beat up. Okay, we're probably going to lose a leg. I think we can live with that. You are going to just die, I would say. Let's go for a precision strike. Left torso destroyed. That didn't work. Never mind. Left torso, left arm. We got it eventually. Just when the rest of the One mech was target. gone. Okay, so who's moving this time? Oh wow, there's a 55 ton mech over there. Eek. Uh, oh, I'm gonna need a medic. That's not handy. That's a lucky strike for them. Okay, so it is four mechs over there. Wow. We're going to be facing off against three lances. Hopefully these are ramshackle as well. Can't see yet. You've got They've got a sensor oh, lock on you. Now you shoot. You missed, thankfully. Yeah, the problem is we're not really in cover. And two mechs have taken a lot of the brunt of the fighting so far. So let's move you up there. Let's see if we can take out this enforcer. Because then that's the main force gone. Hopefully we can then bug out. 
Yeah, let's go for the heads. Let's see if we can get lucky. All weapons committed. Get some structure exposed, but no, we don't get lucky. Commander? Yeah, you want no jump jets. Okay, we've actually got line of sight. No, we don't have line of sight just yet. We can gain line of sight by going there. I'm still going to take out the Enforcer, but let's see what condition these are in. They're ramshackle as well, by the looks of things. But we're going to just fire on this guy. This laser. Lots of other hits, though. Davian, that's not good. What are we facing? It looks like they're Ramshackle as well. Centurion, Shadowhawk, Vulcan. That's not good. And they're all initiative free. Waiting for order. Okay, well first off, you're gonna bug the hell out of there. Um let's just sprint you, why not? I know you want to be close combat, but right now there is actually a fourth mech there. They're inside one another. I can't tell what it is. But there is four mechs there, so that's a lot of mechs. Yeah, hopefully the our extraction comes after we take out the enforcer. I'm ready. Um, Do I jump? Do I move? No, I'm just going to attack. I haven't got line of sight to him, so that doesn't help. Oh, your heat is bad. Okay, well, let's go there. Then we're going to do a cool Roger event. That. And then you're going to try and take out the Enforcer. This should mean that we can fire everything. Okay, we're just going to do center torso, cool strike. They're actually pretty bad at center torso, cool strikes, but it's fine. There we go. The last primary target is down. Can we bug out? Primary target's down. We're done here. If you're ready to leave. Okay, we've got a trek. Oh, wow. We've got a fighter way out. But... We should be okay. Two mechs don't have jump jets, otherwise we'd be jumping out. Warning. Armor low. And they've got a lot of shooting right now. Before I get another go. But thankfully the grasshopper's not been shot at much. So... Warning. Armor low. You can take a few shots. Come on. Phoenix Hawk. Armor's getting real low. Come on. My turn. No, it's not my turn. Okay, it's an assassin that was hiding inside the Shadow Hawk. That's the Vulcan. Uh, if there wasn't so much on the battlefield, I'd try and take it out just for pride so that I can take out theirs. But I'm thinking we jump as best we can. Engaging jump jets. And fire off a couple of shots at who? You've got piss poor chance of hitting you. The assassin's not very evasive, which is good. Let's fire on you. We'll slow them down a little bit and we might get a little a few extra kills or whatever. I'm not looking for kills, I'm looking Waiting to get the order. hell out of here. And that's too, that's too much to the face in the back. We're gonna have to go there. Okay, the rifleman is extremely slow. That's not gonna be Pardon helpful. But you know what? He's got the firepower, or Crackshot has the firepower to rip 
some of these mechs apart, making it easier for us. Not got a great chance of hitting. You have got a great chance of hitting. You know what? Because that Vulcan is so weak, let's take it out. Let's try and take it out. 10 4. Structure exposed, right arm, right torso. There we go. Pilot injured. Critical hit. So the Vulcan commander. will go down pretty quickly, I would say. Sicilian, you're, you can't jump. How do you go there? That's even worse. There's not too bad. Let's go like that. And then I think next time we might have to just sprint, actually. I completely forget, forgot about that. Let's see if we can slow down the assassin. I copy. We didn't take out the leg. So, initiative three. This is where it hurts. Yeah, we can start taking structure damage. Reporting internal damage. Eek. Come on. Oh, it's my turn. Commander. Alright, uh, you're gonna jump. You need to go that way, actually. Let's Lifting do that. Off. Can split fire. It's only the LRMs that are firing, so we there's no point in split firing. And you've actually got a good chance of hitting. Let's hope you do some good firing strikes. on target. Not really. It hits. Okay, this is where all of them fire on us. Griffin is taking a bit of damage, more damage. Luckily, luckily they're going to start getting hot soon. I would say. That shot went internal. Yeah. A lot of the shots are going to go internal in a second. Because the Phoenix Hawks will go for you as well. Okay, you may lose parts. Internal structure damage. Yeah. All good. Luckily you haven't got much weaponry apart from your close combat stuff. Shadow Walk, okay, you're just entrenching, which I'm happy with, I'm not gonna lie. Sprinting gets you there, jumping gets you there, and you're then facing the right way. In fact, no, you're not gonna go. You need to go. It's not your turn. <laughs> okay, that sucks. I can't leave you there, because look at you. Wow, we've nearly lost... Ooh, that's not good. It's all your SRMs. Okay, you've got one. Who's left to go? Um, I have no idea, but it's... It must be the Griffin, maybe? Well, we've got to go, because someone's got to go. And let's, yeah, let's jump. We, it's going to be a long fight for that. This is the problem. We, we may just lose um, Silicon and the Griffin. Or Sicilian, not, sorry. Silicon. I am going to... The Assassin. We can probably take the Assassin out. Yeah, I'm going to try and drop you. Engaging target. No. Yes! That delay every time gets me. But we've got a Vulcan Enemy that we can potentially destroyed. get parts for. We can't really salvage a full mech. Okay, so it was the Assassin. Should have shot you, shouldn't I? Okay, Stand we're leaving um, <laughs> Sicilian all on her own. Oh, wow, not much sprinting distance there. You know what, no, we don't sprint you, we move you so we can fire 
off a few shots. I'm there. Come on. And we are going to go for the assassin because that means you're off the fields. Yeah, I mean, I would love to go for you, but. I think we've got to we've got to focus fire as best we can. Arm. Come on, right arm. Lots of things. Right torso. And Sicilian can go. Awesome. Uh, you're sprinting like a crazy person. No line of sight, just there. So we're looking good. We got a lot of travel time. Not gonna lie, uh, the rifleman is now going to get an absolute beating. Let's see how tough the rifleman is with no evasion, no cover, nothing. Waiting for orders. Oh, and there's a heat field, the marsh. Fifty percent stamina. Oh, okay, no, we're. It's not a heat field. It's something better okay if we go there only the other rams are firing but I suppose that's better than nothing firing jump jet covering fire and we've got to take you out this time yes okay, so there's six of them now then go down only six of them Admittedly, they're, they're all nasty mechs, and they're all doing damage, a lot of damage. We need to get you further away so that we breaks line of sight. If you survive. Come on, come on. Machine guns, head I'm hits, hit no! That's why I've refit the Vulcan with machine guns for that such thing. Okay, luckily this squad over here isn't really firing. So, we're getting lucky in you. that sense. Okay, yeah, let's break. Mm, yeah, let's break line of sights as best we can. All right, let's move. Okay, so that means most of them are going to be struggling to hit us now. So now we just jump and get the hell away from here as quickly as possible. Engaging jump jets. Oh, come on. And yeah, you're just bracing. Sicilian. Receiving you. Sprints like a bunny. Okay, so who's going to take the fire this time? It's probably going to be the Griffin, because that's going to be the first one they get line of sight on as they round the corner. No, maybe not. No, they are going for crack shot on the rifleman. Ready for orders. You're jumping. You actually jumped the. Um, other mech, didn't I? And didn't actually get shot off. Whoops. Okay, just covering fire. Sorry, we'll go for a precision strike. We might as well. Against the head. 2% chance of hitting. Got it, Commander. Yes. Yeah, no, that didn't really do much. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a. F it's good. It's fun. This mission. I like having to withdraw and fire. I, I got a lock on. I, I, you know, I'll take that right now because that means they're not firing. Phoenix Hawk, you are going to fire. He's kind of in the back. It's more just like the side armor, but it's fine. And Sinky Turian, yeah. I'm, I'm so glad that not all the mechs are fight, fighting. There's only three, four mechs that are fighting. Uh, crack shot needs I'm to here. go. 
Okay, there we go. We're gonna get shot in the back ridiculously, unfortunately. But what can I do? Okay, we're gonna go into cover. Ooh, cover! It's a rarity on this map. And I'm taking it. And who did we shoot? You. Yeah, can we select you? Oh, we don't have line of sight to you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, it doesn't really make much difference. You're firing, so I might target you. Precision strike. Let's do it. 4% chance of hitting the heads. Structure exposed. No. Probably should go for legs, shouldn't I, actually? Just thinking of it. So it would slow them down. Yes, Commander. Okay, ooh, we're making it there. We're getting there. On the actually, move. cool Four. shots are helping us. It is lowering their initiative. So, that's not a bad thing. I mean, they're, getting, they're, they're still getting shots off, but we're making reporting minimal damage we're increasing the distance between us yes commander so that is fine yeah i'm going to go it doesn't matter if i'm going into rocky ground they're not targeting me because i'm far enough away and 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 i don't really have a good chance of hitting anyone i'm just going to fire for the hell of it and you know what we'll hit a different target now so who is still to go? You are still to go. 55% chance of hitting. Let's go for a leg, like I said. He's got bulwarks, that's not really much chance then. But his initiative is down, so that's fine. And he may have actually gone, so never mind. Oh, stray shots. Damn those stray I'm shots. Taking some serious hits. Right, crack shots. Yes, Commander. Sprint you. You need to go down. I oh, know you can go that way, and there's cover that way. In fact, I might <laughs> stick you there. Because you're getting cover then. A little bit of a tactical decision. Stay in the cover. Yeah, now there's three enemies of this initiative, so it doesn't help too much, but it helps a little bit. Minus one invasion. Warning. Armor low. Ooh. Not that makes... Oh, minus one invasion, yes. I was going to say, I thought it was initiative, actually. Sorry, my bad. Uh, jumping. No, sprinting does actually get us further. No, I want to... Jump to fire off of some Engaging shots. Jump Covering fire as we go. Oh, can you not hear anyone? No, okay, we'll brace then. That was wasted. Okay, they are just pinging Warning. us, thankfully. Enemy sensor lock detected. And should be the new rounds. Yep. Yeah. Good to go. Okay, you're getting in. You know, spin you to the other side so there's more room for other people. Okay, so two injuries and no weapon components lost. I've spoke that now, so we're going to lose something right now. No, we're good. Warning, armor low. Right, Archangel. Waiting for orders. Yeah, jump. You've still got the LRMs. You can't get in, so. Let's put you there. Jumping. In cover. And precision strike. Doesn't make too much difference. We're going to go for you because more chance of hitting. Let's go for the heads. You never Primitive. know, we might get lucky. Unsteady, but not going down. They're going for the grasshopper, which 
it's still looking pretty fresh. And it's like got 40% damage reduction and has now just lost armor in a section. That's not good. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Still their turn. Oh, what the play? attack. All misses though. Love it. Order acknowledged. And oh. survival. Uh, yeah, that's a lot more excitement than I bargained for. Mission successful. We're good though. Okay, so 334,000 payouts. We probably would have got more if we'd have destroyed any of those additional lance lances, but it's fine. Um, yeah, you got some damage, you got some damage, you got some damage, you got an injury, you got an injury. 3,000 XP each, and you got no kills. You suck. And yes, yeah, eight hit points left on the SRM right torso. Uh, no critical damage on anything. So it's fine. Okay, so what do we want to take? We can't complete any mechs, and we haven't got a full mech of anything. So any good weapons down here? There's a cockpit mod. Taking that. Jump jets. Leg mod plus plus. Why not? And I think I'm going to take the two assassin parts. Get cicada parts and some other stuff. Okay. Well, we survived, and I've got to say, that was actually a fun mission. There was a lot of running away, but it was a fun mission. So it's also a, a long video, which I was kind of not wanting, but hey, we'll, we got it. We got it done. We got some money. And I think next time, next video, we are going to start the. Um, Flashpoints. The Hearts and Minds Flashpoint? No, a House Divided. So we're going to start that and we're going to see what that entails. So check back next video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see how well I do. But until next time, have fun and enjoy the rest of your day.